Yo, what's going on, everybody? Once again, this is Life As I See It here with Mr. Spam. And uh, today, uh, I want to talk about uh, what's been going on this past year, especially with uh, the Spam TV channel this past year. Um, I started this year with the video that I called, I'm a Christian and I'm also a Freemason. That was the very first video that I did this year. And, uh, you know, for a while, that video, you know, amongst the others that I had done, you know, pretty much, it languished. It didn't, uh, it didn't really get a whole lot of views until I opened up the comment section on the video. Now, the initial reason why I had closed off the comment section to that video was because, um... I was getting a lot of ignorant comments to the video. Not that I was afraid to engage anyone. I think any of you who've watched my videos and looked through my comment section long enough to know, I'm not afraid to engage anyone in anything, especially when I know the truth of what I'm saying. So uh, initially, that was the reason why I didn't allow comments to be posted on that particular video. But uh, as I was starting to get into some of these debates about uh, Freemasonry and Christianity and things of that nature, I felt that it would only be right for me to open that video up to comments so that people can uh, give their feedback to, uh, to what I was saying. And what I found out was that the moment that I allowed comments to be put on that video, that's when the video count as far as views are concerned started to go up people aren't more people this is the thing and this is what I'm finding out about YouTube people could give a damn about what you're saying I don't think most people even listen to what I was saying in that video all they saw was the title and they wanted to attack whatever it is I was saying and that you know it shows up in the comment section of that video that's probably that's still probably the uh, I guess hottest video that I have uh, and someone actually uh, made a comment to my or tried to make a comment because I don't go back and forth on my channel page so that's why I didn't approve it I don't go back and forth and have discussions there but uh, she tried to say that you know I noticed you didn't get a lot of views until uh, your Freemasonry and Christian videos and stuff like that as if that's somehow my fault I speak about a lot of different things I've spoken about politics I've spoken about homosexuality I've talked about uh, juvenile violence I spoke on some comedic things I spoke about a lot of things in pop culture I've spoken about a lot of different things I spoke about the hypocrisy of people who uh, listen to R. Kelly I mean I, I speak about a lot of different things and it just so happens that the moment that I put a video out about Freemasonry, that's what people were drawn to. And initially, I didn't even want to do that video. But I kept getting questions about why I was wearing my hat. As you know, as if I was somehow uh, misled or misguided into doing what I was doing. So um, I'm going to title this video. I did battle with ignorance and ignorance won. Not in the sense that they, uh, not, I don't want to feel like, I don't want to say that I'm defeated because I'm not, but it gets a little tiresome when you are, uh, I don't know, you go into battle with ignorance every day and it's, you know, I, I get so much hate mail. You guys don't understand. I get so much hate mail and so much, uh, ignorant comments to my phone because everything that you know like any comment that gets made you know messages or whatever that gets sent to me I get that stuff it gets sent right to my phone so it'll be times where I'm at work phone goes off I got a new message I check it out somebody saying something stupid and it's just my personality more often than not I hate ignorance that's one thing that I hate I hate ignorance and my personality just the way that I'm made up I tend to combat ignorance when I see it 
So um, I end up engaging a lot of people that I shouldn't just I, I really shouldn't even be talking to. I really shouldn't even be giving these people the time of day because no matter what information you give them, no matter what you tell them, they will not believe you. They already have their theory. They already have their uh, I, their quote unquote facts. When it's obvious that a lot of these people never really look this stuff up. They go on YouTube and they watch these videos just like mine. But, you know, they look at it from a position of, well, I'm going to confirm what I already know. No one actually watches these videos and try to learn anything. Anytime someone can tell you, I don't need to read this book because I know this is, to, you know, you're stupid. You're stupid. We, as Christians, because like I said, I am a Christian, but we as Christians, uh, we can't keep going off of this, uh, I don't need to know, you know, because that's not what our Christ instructed us to do. I mean, even Thomas, Th Thomas doubted the resurrection of Christ after they told him Christ appeared to us. Thomas doubted. And Christ came back. And showed Thomas that he indeed had come back, that he even indulged Thomas and put his hand in his wounds to show him, yes, I have come back. To show Doubting Thomas. That's why they called him Doubting Thomas. So, this whole thing of I don't need to know because I believe in Christ, I honestly don't even think a lot of you even believe in the power of Christ. I don't think you believe in it as strongly as you say you do because so many of you come to me trumpeting the powers of Satan and telling me about the influence that Satan has on folks and you never sit up I've, I've, I've gotten very few comments about the influence and the power of Christ from Christians I get the influence and power of the devil and from Satan from quote unquote Christians so, um, I mean, I can go back and forth with you guys forever, but it's tiresome. I'm tired of it. So, um, this will be like the last video that I do concerning anything about Freemasonry or Christianity or whatever. Because I'm tired of talking about it. I'm sick of talking about it. Quite honestly, I did six videos, seven videos, a series of videos about this one particular thing and it's totally strayed away from what span tv was initially uh supposed to be you know I, I was supposed to speak about political issues and you know pop culture and i was supposed to speak about you know things that i see that could be corrected in society you know just my opinion on a lot of things and i got away from that you know engaging some of you wackos and that's what i'm gonna call you i'm gonna call you some wackos so, um, yeah, ignorance won. You know, I, I, I very seldom will engage any of you with any of that, you know, because I can only repeat myself but so much. And I'm getting tired of repeating myself. And uh, not only that, um, I'm actually thinking of doing other things besides the uh, YouTube videos, you know, like. I find that the YouTube audience has a very short attention span. Most people aren't really interested in what you're saying. They're more interested in what they can say to you about what you're saying. No, no, people don't really listen. The attention span is real short. If you don't catch somebody's eye really quick, they're not even listening to what you're trying to say. So uh, I think I'm going to focus more on my blog, which you can... Uh, find at uh, the the web address for my blog is the and uh, I'm actually considering doing a podcast where uh, I can speak to a lot of you know things that I would normally speak about on here but I'm not limited by the time restraints of just 15 minutes or having to do a series of videos and editing those and everything else for YouTube so uh, I'm really thinking about just doing uh, the podcast. That way I can really 
uh, say what I feel, get everything I need out in one shot and just one take. And the people that want to hear what I have to say, that want to listen to what I have to say, uh, that aren't caught up in the you got to catch my attention in two minutes kind of a thing. They will be able to, you know, get that um, that information and they will be able to interact with me um, during that podcast. I haven't come up with the name for it yet, and I have a couple of ideas about how I want to do the show, but. Uh, that will probably be the more uh, effective way to listen to uh, listen to myself. So uh, this will be this is the last video that I'm doing for 2010. Um, the next time you will hear from me will be in the new year. It'll be 2011. So uh, God bless all of you, um, and I hope you have a very very wonderful and uh, happy new year. Uh, talk to you guys again soon. Peace.